After a day of tense fighting, Sudan's army appeared to make strides Sunday against a deadly power struggle with rival paramilitary forces, blasting their bases with airstrikes. Dozens of civilians have been killed in the clashes, including three UN workers. Fire and plumes of black smoke could be seen across Khartoum's skyline. Satellite images showed airplanes burning at Khartoum International Airport, as well as fires near a hospital. Both sides agreed to a three-hour humanitarian pause, a deal suggested by the United Nations. While firing appeared initially to subside, a Reuters witness that heavy bombardments took place shortly afterwards. Gunfire could also be heard in the capital. Sudan's former Prime Minister, Abdallah Hamdok, called for an immediate ceasefire, allowing for a humanitarian <coughs> corridor. Doctors' unions had said earlier it was difficult for medics and the sick to get to and from hospitals. The violence, which began Saturday, was sparked by a disagreement over the integration of the RSF into the military as part of a transition towards civilian rule. It is the first such outbreak since 2019, when both groups joined forces to oust veteran Islamist autocrat Omar al-Bashir. The United States, China, Russia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the UN Security Council, European Union and African Union have appealed for a quick end to the hostilities. They say the fighting threatens to worsen instability in an already volatile wider region.